Hello everybody, we're gonna talk a little bit about bees because I found something interesting nearby my yard. So bees in general, when people think about these insects, they think only of honeybee. But it's the same as thinking about only hens while recalling birds. In fact, the bee family has not tens and not hundreds and not even thousands but hundreds of thousands of species and the honey bee is one of hundreds of thousands of species. The honey bee is bred simply for honey as is the Asian wax bee. The Asian wax bee is one of the few bees that live in large colonies. Most of these insects do not bring or store honey, therefore they are not bred for the sake of a sweet product. They are solitary and they have the common generic name Osmia or Mason bee. And even among Osmia there are species that are bred by people, but not for the sake of honey, pollen or wax. They are bred for pollinate their gardens. There are such Osmia for example as Cornuta or Rufa. They settle in hollow holes in wood or in reeds, etc. But the largest family of bees is solitary ground bees, and they are also divided into Andrena and Melitid. Andrena is much larger family. They number tens of thousands of species, and this bee which I am filming now belongs to the Melitid family. There is a relatively small family. There are one or two hundred species in total. This particular Osmia from the genus. Melitid is called the pantalon bee. Why pantalon? It's clear from its appearance because it seems to be wearing pants. Although, at the same time, it seems that they collected pollen on their paws. But this bee does not collect pollen on its paws, but collects on the belly. And now I caught it digging a hole for reproduction. The biology of this bee is such that it emerges from the cocoon in midsummer and lives from several weeks to several months. Throughout their lives, they dig holes, carry pollen loaves or pollen bread to their burrows. Such pieces are made of pollen. They are mixed with honey and put an egg on each such bread, from which the larvae hatches. During the summer and autumn, it grows, sheds, develops, and turns into a pupa by December. The pupa goes into winter, and the development of the pupa resumes in the spring, and the pupa turns into an imago. Imago is an adult bee that reaches the final stage of the bee's development. This occurs around the end of June, beginning of July. The bee comes and the cycle repeats again. By the way, the largest bee that exists on the European continent is the carpenter bee. I also have it on my channel in another video. We met them when we were exploring an inhabited village. There are also Osmia, by the way, leaves in dead wood. So all these bees, unlike the honey bee and Asian wax bee, which people bred for the sake of obtaining a sweet product, honey, wax, or pollen, they are poorly studied. Not only are they studied well, I'll tell you a secret. Scientists don't even know how many species there are in the genus Andron or the same melody. There is all the exact systematics of this bee's solitary is in future. One more thing, bees make food results and these bees simply sleep an unfavorable time in the temperature latitudes in the state of a pupa that is a win-win option
So thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video and have a nice day.